This is Twit. Okay, so Mozilla has updated their Firefox Monitor data breach monitoring and alerting service, giving it a dedicated website. It's at monitor.firefox.com. But the page you want to go to is monitor.firefox.com slash breaches. Um, if you go to monitor.firefox.com forward slash breaches, you're greeted with the caption. Kind of modest. We monitor all known data breaches to find out if your personal if your personal information was compromised. And then they said, here's a complete list of all of the breaches that have been reported since 2007. Okay, now I'll get back to that list in a second. Uh, it's on the screen now scrolling slowly, and it could probably scroll for the rest of the week before you got to the bottom of it. And that's kind of the point here. So as you might expect from a web page which boasts a complete listing of what amounts to every site breach ever, uh, you'll be scrolling for a while. Thankfully, the page is sorted from yesterday to ancient, meaning from most recent to least recent. And for those who don't know, I see the scrolling has increased in speed, it hopefully uh, to finish by the end of the podcast. <laughs> for those who don't know, Mozilla's Firefox monitor site performs the same sort of checking that Troy Hunt's Have I Been Pwned site offers where registered email addresses are cross-referenced against the database of all previous data sets obtained from website breaches. Troy's facility offers a feature that I appreciate as the owner of GRC.com. Once I authenticate my ownership and control over the GRC.com domain, have I been pwned will perform a wildcard search for any and all email addresses within the GRC.com domain. So, you know, star, uh, star ampersand GRC.com. Or, I mean, I'm not ampersand, at sign, star at sign GRC.com. You know, any email address that was presumed to be from GRC.com ever. But where breach notification is concerned, I, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with having more than one such solution. So what Firefox is doing, what Mozilla is doing, is welcome. This new dedicated Firefox monitor breach listing page is a bit breathtaking to behold. For example, there were two site breaches on March 31st, uh, a couple weeks ago. One of a site called Sundry Files, and ironically, a site named Leaky Reality uh, had a site leak, which is not, probably not the reality <laughs> that they were that they were intending to be leaking, whatever that is. In both cases, what was leaked were email addresses, IP addresses, passwords, and usernames. Before that was a breach on March 24th of the Grad Cafe, which lost email addresses genders, geographic locations, IP addresses, names, passwords, phone numbers, physical addresses, and usernames. Whoops. Before that, on March 11th, the site Shopper Plus lost its visitors' dates of birth, email addresses, genders, names, phone numbers, physical addresses, and spoken languages. And on the same day, HDB Financial Services was doubtless embarrassed that to have lost control of its clients' dates of birth, email addresses, genders, geographic locations, loan information, names, and phone numbers. So it really is quite eye-opening to scroll back through this listing to get a sense for just how continuous and frequent these breaches are. Just those I just quoted were the last couple weeks. Um, you know, and we don't talk about them here every week because it would be information overload and because no one specific site breach would be useful to most, if any, of our listeners. But I strongly recommend that everyone who's listening to this podcast take a minute or two to check out Mozilla's page. And it certainly makes sense to get your email addresses registered there so that you will be notified 
if or when your name pops up in a breach. Um, up to five different email addresses may be registered per Mozilla account. And, you know, I have an, an account at Mozilla since I'm a Firefox user that's free and there's no downside to it. Um, and to me, that seems like a no-brainer to get your email addresses registered there. Once again, monitor.firefox.com is the site you want to go to. Hey, I'm Rod Pyle, Editor-in-Chief of Ad Astra Magazine, and each week I join with my co-host to bring you This Week in Space, the latest and greatest news from the final frontier. We talk to NASA chiefs, space scientists, engineers, educators, and artists, and sometimes we just shoot the breeze over what's hot and what's not in space, books, and TV. And we do it all for you, our fellow true believers. So whether you're an armchair adventurer or waiting for your turn to grab a slot in Elon's Mars rocket, join us on This Week in Space and be part of the greatest adventure of all time. <laughs> 